Now, familiar sinking feeling has gripped the Delhiites and, of course, the adjacent areas as the air quality worsens in the city, forcing residents to put on the customary face masks and confine themselves indoors, especially ahead of festive seasons. Very difficult, but a toxic haze and the smog is blanketing vast swathes of the capital. While the air quality index, the AQI in several areas, has slipped to the very poor range at over 350. Doctors, meanwhile, are reporting a surge in the number of patients complaining of respiratory distress as well as itchy eyes and skin. So with the smog starting to take a toll on public health, the RML hospital has announced the opening of a clinic to treat pollution-related afflictions. In fact, we'll get you more in this report. Another year, same problem. The national capital has yet again turned into a gas chamber. The air quality has worsened leaving hapless residents with a familiar sinking feeling. बहुत जल्दी सांस फूल जाती है और बिना मास्क के साइकिल चला नहीं सकते और ये इस खास तौर के इस मौसम में होता है ये अक्टूबर नवंबर दिसंबर के मौसम में होता है बहुत ज्यादा पोल्यूशन बढ़ जाता है हरियाणा के अंदर पंजाब के अंदर पुरालियां जो जलती हैं इन पर रोक लगाया जाए ये जलती है तो यहां पे पोल्यूशन होता है और बहुत ज्यादा होता है As the air turns foul by the day doctors are reporting a surge in patients with respiratory illnesses level of the pollution has increased tremendously in Delhi NCR. So right now we are seeing patients of respiratory, eyes and skin complaints uh, majorly in our OPDs. Delhi continues to struggle with air pollution as the average air quality index in the national capital surpassed 310, putting it in the very poor category. Right now we're standing here at the Yamuna Bank. You can see the visuals very clearly here. As the national capital woke up today, a layer of smog engulfed Delhi and the nearby areas including Noida today on a Tuesday morning. A second stage of a graded response action plan has been implemented in the national capital banning the use of coal, firewood and tandoors in hotels, restaurants and open eateries as well. Rising pollution leaving residents gasping for air, the Commission for Air Quality Management, CAQM, has now enforced GRAC2 measures to rid the city of the familiar toxic haze. दिल्ली में बढ़ते प्रदूषण को देखते हुए आज से दिल्ली में ग्रैप टू लागू कर दिया गया है यानी कि अब दिल्ली के अंदर किसी भी तरीके के डीजल जनरेटर को चलाने पर पाबंदी होगी साथ ही सड़कों पर गाड़ियों की एक तरीके से संख्या को कम करने के लिए पार्किंग चार्जेस भी आज से दिल्ली में बढ़ा दिए गए हैं इस वक्त हम नेताजी सुभाष पैलेस में मौजूद हैं तस्वीरें मैं आपको दिखा दूँ कि सुबह के समय दिल्ली की सड़कों पर आपको हल्का कोहरा जैसा देखने को मिलेगा दरअसल ये स्मॉग है पॉल्यूशन की लेयर है आप तस्वीर में देख पाएंगे कि सड़कों के ऊपर पोल्यूशन इतना है कि जो गाड़ियां निकल रही हैं वो स्मॉगी आपको फील हो रही होंगी साथ ही मैं आपको टीवी टॉवर की तस्वीर दिखा दूं ये भी आपको हल्का धुंधला नजर आएगा क्योंकि पोल्यूशन की लेयर इस कदर दिल्ली के अंदर है कि लोगों को अब आने वाले दिनों में और परेशानियां भी हो सकती है Right now, we're standing outside this smog tower situated in Delhi's Connaught Place. This smog tower is designed to reduce air pollution, remains non-operational even as the city's air quality has worsened to the very poor category according to CPCB data. Local residents have reported that the tower has not been functioning this year, raising concerns about its effectiveness and maintenance. As the air quality deteriorates, the failure to utilize this anti-pollution infrastructure is seen as a missed opportunity to address the growing environmental crisis. The BJP took a name at the Atishi led government. AQI is crossing 300-350 many parts of Delhi. Punjab's Parali continues to burn unabated. No action has been taken there. Kejriwal used to say Punjab's Parali is number one cause of pollution in Delhi. Now what has happened? What happened to the biodecomposer? Fact of the matter is that there are internal causes of pollution in Delhi road pollution, construction, dust, industrial pollution, biomass burning. On this, Kejriwal and Aam Party have done nothing over the last 10 years. Meanwhile, neighboring Haryana said, stubble burning in the state, which has often been blamed for contributing to the Delhi smog, has reduced significantly. Haryana 
राज्य के अंदर 2021 में लगभग 7000 हज़ार एक्टिव फायर लोकेशन के केसेस थे जो इस साल घटकर 2023 में 2300 रह गए हैं और इस साल पूरी तरह नोडल ऑफिसर्स की और सरकार की निगरानी है और फार्मर्स को पूरी तरह प्रोत्साहन किया जा रहा है ताकि नंबर ऑफ केसेस कम से कम रहे As the city chokes and a political blame game erupts the big question is why should people have to struggle for clean air every year